Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos which explain the steps to develop different types of data sources and presentation projects in ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. In this demonstration, we will show you how to generate COBOL screen definitions from DPS 2200 application screen forms. The DPS 2200 application that we have selected is a DPS eBank application which implements some simple banking operations such as accessing account balance and transferring funds between accounts. Let's get started. To create a data source project for DPS 2200 application in ePortal Developer, first we need to generate ePortal formatted COBOL working storage from DPS screen definitions which needs to be part of the modernized application. Here we have logged on to Attach Made Accessory Manager window of the InfoConnect terminal emulator in Demand Mode session which we have configured to rs20. rsvl. Unisys. com OS2200 host. Now let's use the ECL statements to make requests to the OS2200 to perform the required services. First, we will create a program file named DPS EBWS to store ePortal formatted COBOL working storage files from the DPS eBank application form definitions. Let's enter at cat comma p space dps ebws ecl statement and then press the enter key to transmit. This statement creates the dps ebws program file as a public file. A confirmation is displayed showing that the respective ecl operation is complete. The Form Language Manipulation Utility, or FLMU processor, which is a component of the DPS2200, is used to generate ePortal formatted COBOL working storage from DPS screen form definitions. Let's attach another name to the DPS EBWS file by entering at use space screen dollar omn dot comma space DPS EBWS ECL statement and transmitting it. The at use statement lets you reference a file by more than one file name. In our case this will make the DPS EBWS an alias name for screen dollar omn. The screen dollar omn is the username assigned to the public file DPS EBWS catalog by the user. Please make sure that the username screen dollar omn must be used, as FLMU will be looking for that exact username. Now let's invoke the FLMU by entering at FLMU, comma, G. ECL statement and transmitting. The FLMUG option must be used to allow connector type working storage to be generated for ePortal. The screen descriptions in the configured form library are used to generate the working storage. FLMU provides options to convert the file to multiple formats like ASCII COBOL, FOTRAN, UCSC, UCS COBOL and Connector. It also provides us with other options like prefix, initial value, redefinition, storage type and output type. Connector option converts the file to ePortal formatted COBOL file. Let's enter connector for language, skip other options and transmit to generate working storage of the DPS screens for ePortal. This working storage is imported to the ePortal development environment which generates an ePortal record representing the DPS form definition. The FLMU processor requests to enter the form number for which ePortal formatted COBOL file has to be generated and transfers the output to a file with the username of screen dollar omn. 
Enter the DPS eBank application form numbers which need to be converted to ePortal formatted COBOL files. In our case, let's enter form number as 20. This is the first screen of the DPS eBank application where we enter the transcode for performing banking operations. The FLMU generates the screen definitions as COBOL files and stores with dot connector extension in DPS EBWS working storage and requests to enter the next form number. Let's enter the next form number as 21 which is transfer funds screen to perform fund transfer. Similarly, enter the next form number as 23. This is the confirmation screen returned by the server after a successful fund transfer. Next, enter form number as 27. This is the accounts out screen returned by the server with account details. Now let's enter at EOF ECL statement and transmit. This indicates the end of input from the run stream to the program being executed. Let's enter at free DPS EBWS to free the resource from run. Please make sure to free this file using at free for accessing the new or updated files from a network share. For accessing working storage files from Windows environment, we need to share the DPS EBWS working storage directory. First, we need to create a share name and this share name will be used for mapping to a Windows drive. To create a share name, execute the following commands from InfoConnect console window. Let's enter at CIFSUT and transmit it to invoke the common Internet file system utility that allows access to OS2200 files through the standard Internet protocols. Then use the share command to create a network visible name for the current working directory DPS EBWS. In our case, let's enter share space forward slash OS2200 forward slash stock forward slash DPS EBWS space DPS EB. The DPS EB is the share name we use for mapping it to a drive. For example, backslash backslash server name backslash DPS EB. In our case, we have shared the DPS EBWS directory and mapped it to a network drive. We have copied the DPS EBWS working storage COBOL.connector files to a local folder DPS eBank. Now, to create a DPS2200 data source project using these dot .connector COBOL screen definitions, refer to the Creating DPS2200 data source project video. This completes the demonstration. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.